Well, the eggs came today. So there's supposed to be two dozen little quail eggs inside this little tiny box. Um, I can hear them rattling around, so we're a little bit nervous, but we're going to see <laughs> yeah, if they survive and... the journey. The incubator has been um, holding the temperature really steady and nicely. We have it right around 99 to 100. And we might let these eggs sit for a little while before putting them in. Ashley read in line that you should let them sit so they can kind of settle after being bounced around in the mail. So let's see. Has a dozen. So, here they are. Let me see. I, this one's so different. Is it just yeah. dusty? Mm. I don't know. It could just be a different kind. They look like they survived the trip, so here they are. I don't want to shake them around too much. But. This one has some condensation in here, and this one has... I just hope there's no leak, because I see moisture in the bottom of a couple of these. Mm. Oh, I do see a crack. Uh-oh. Can't put that one in. So let me open these. That one. Is oh, it? Oh, that's sad. That's too bad. A lot of these are broke. I'm are you just serious? Sad. Yeah. How? There's one, two, three, four that I see right now that are broke out of this pack. And there's the yolk in here. This one looks really dry, but there's no telling. We're just gonna have to really inspect these. That's really a shame. I wish they packed them a little bit better because, you know, this, it, it was kind of bulging in here and, you know. I don't think you can incubate cracked eggs, so. No. <laughs> no. I like to find eggs, though. Yeah, but these are, um, really pretty. Little quail eggs, and yeah. well, if I can. It's not gonna focus because no. it's grabbing everybody's faces, but. Nice. Really neat little things. Maybe we'll show some pictures or something of them, but you, I'm sure you've guys seen quite legs. Um, so yeah, that's that's too bad. Um, that lessens our chance. I guess we should have bought more, but. Um, no, it's fine. We're still gonna incubate the ones that aren't cracked and hope they come out. So this will be the day one of incubating it, would you read 18 days? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, we'll keep you up to date on the next 18 days and see what we hatch. So we're gonna let these sit for a couple hours and then we'll bring you back and show you... Um, we'll be putting them in the incubator. Yeah. We just sorted through all these eggs and um, these are the cracked ones. We got eight cracked ones, which is... A big a loss. That's kind of a shame because we paid for those. Oh, we got a good price on it, but still, you don't want to lose almost half your eggs, basically. Um, I don't know if these are going to be okay with the, the yolk on them. They're sticky, but we're not going to wash them because we don't want to mess up the uh, coating. And um, I think the rest of them are okay. <clears throat> so, it kind of worries me that they got smashed around so much in shipping, but... Um, Yep, these will have to go. If you know anything about eggs or incubating though, feel free to uh, share your experience so that we can learn, because this is our first time dealing with eggs at all. So this is really cool. We're still excited about um, hatching these. It's, it's kind of a disappointment that so many are broken, but we'll just deal with it. We'll bring you back when we put them in the incubator a little bit later today. We were just doing some research about these cracked eggs, because I thought, you know, maybe there's a chance. And I read that you can incubate cracked eggs. They don't always grow, but there's a chance they can grow as long as the membrane isn't uh, broken. So I know some of these did leak because they were sticky, but some of them we're going to try to save by putting wood glue on them because that's what I have. You can use wood glue, Elmer's glue, wax. Some people even, like candle wax, you can uh, drip on there. And some people even use um, nail polish and things like that. 
but I would try to stay non-toxic if you can. And um, we're gonna try to save some of these just by, like this only has a small dent in it. So I'm gonna try to put the glue over it to seal it so bacteria can't get in. So this is gonna be an experiment. My glue is thick because it dried out a little bit, but it should be fine. I don't want it heavy, I just want to seal it. Wherever the cracks are. It's a shame. Like this is like minimal cracks. Really fine cracks. Because I don't know which one was leaking and which one wasn't. So we're just going to make a new shell. And we're going to mark these with a sharpie too so that we can know which ones are the broken ones. This one has fine cracks all over it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they said not to like coat the whole egg because it doesn't even really Trashed. Let's not try this one. Mm -hmm. I think it's just too broken to try to seal it. We have the eggs in the incubator, everything is going good. We're gonna start our quail cage right now. We're pulling out all of our scrap wood and I started cutting some pieces to the sizes I want. So be sure to check out our next video, I believe, which will be the quail cage. <laughs>